Hello, welcome back. Previously, we have learned how to build a Docker image, either by manually committing the changes we made in a container, or by writing a Docker file. In this lecture, we'll see how to push our extended images to a Docker repository, so that other developers can use that image, or we can pull that to our production environment and run it as a container. The easiest way to make your images available is to use the Docker Hub, which provides free repositories for public images. First, we need to create a Docker Hub account. Let's go to Docker Hub, where you sign up for your account. Just type your Docker Hub ID, email address, and password. After you have signed up and you have logged into your account, it looks like this. I just created a Docker Hub account for this tutorial. JLead tutorial is the Docker Hub ID. In order to push the image to the right repository, we need to associate the image with a Docker Hub account. The way to link the image with a Docker Hub account is to rename the image to something like Docker Hub ID slash repository name. The command to rename this image is Docker tag. Let's see this in action. First, we issue Docker images command which displays all the current images in my local box. The image we're going to push is this extended Debian image. Now let's rename this image. Just type Dogger tag, copy and paste the image ID. Then the repository name, JE tutorial slash Debian. We also need to specify a tag for this image. If we leave it blank, Docker will just use the default latest tag. But try not to use latest tag unless you have to. Let me explain why. Docker will use latest as a default tag when no tag is provided. But beyond that, the latest tag has no special meaning. A lot of repositories use it to tag the most up-to-date stable image. However, this is still only a convention, and it is entirely not being enforced. Images which are tagged latest will not be updated automatically when a newer version of the image is pushed to the repository. If you're shipping Docker images to a production environment, you should just ignore the latest tag. Don't use it. Don't be tempted by it. It's easy to look at it and think that your deployment script should just pull latest. However, this is not enforced. It takes a lot of discipline to make that work. The safest way is just to version your tags every time. Here, we just explicitly specify tag 1.01, .01, then hit enter. Now let's do Docker images again. See, the image has been tagged with a new name. The first and the second image have the same image ID because they're the same image and have exactly the same content but tagged with different names. The next step is to push the image to Docker Hub. In order to do this, we need to issue the command docker login. We'll need to type our Docker Hub account credentials. Now we're logged in. Finally, we can do docker push, followed by the repository name and tag. And hit enter. Now it is sending the image to docker hub. This is 250 megabyte image, which might take a while to push. I'm fast forwarding the video until the image has been pushed. This is what you will see if everything worked out successfully. Now, let's go back to our Docker Hub account and refresh the page. We can see the new image appears under my account. Now, we can click the image and check the image details, such as image tag. And that's it for this lecture. I hope you've enjoyed it.